Ever since Dream made the face reveal, the Minecraft YouTubers' reputations have all gone south. The second Dream made the face reveal and went on Snapchat and posted some filtery, zesty stuff of his face and asking people if he looks cute or not and moaning his way into other girls' Snapchat and saying it was AI generated. It's, it was actually fake. Dream, don't swim me, please. Thank you. Let's move on. But it is like a curse that Dream started. Dream, I saw you should have just put your mask on, kept it like that. The second you took it off, the curse is everywhere now. Uh, abusers, sexual, sexual assault. And now there's this big Minecraft guy that I heard for the first time with he has 10 million subs. Jordan not found on YouTube. He has been accused of sexual assault. Sexual assault. This is the girl, Caitlin, who came forward and accused uh, George. Now, what I got from this story is this whole thing happened in VidCon. It happened a few months ago, but she recently decided to come and expose him. She was with her friends at VidCons. This uh, Minecraft YouTuber, George, he was with his friends. They were chilling. Then they finished up. They went to the hotel. The girls were drinking. They were partying. And then they all met together and they started drinking and partying. And then that's when the things happened at the couch. You know, a little bit of touching. And then George says she was okay with it. But she's saying, I was not okay with it. I was hurt. And she starts crying. And it's a whole story. Well, I'm going to show you both of their point of views. And we are going to talk about I was ready to disappear with this secret forever. I never knew that creators were allowed to talk about these kinds of things, and I guess I'm still new to it all. I just didn't feel brave enough, and I still don't. A little while ago, my story had almost been leaked without me knowing, so here it is on my terms. Here is my story. Sister, why are you looking at the camera that you, if you look okay crying or not? Checking if your tears are okay or not. Just before we start, just a little bit of intelligence from me. Just because someone is crying and they're showing tears and they're, they're a cute girl, you kharoofs doesn't mean she's in the right, okay? This is where you need to hear both of their stories and see what's going on. I can sit here and be like, like like cry about something and be very serious i can put on an act and all of you will believe it you know the trophies i have for acting but let's continue and we're going to talk more about it at the beginning of summer i was assaulted by a significantly older and popular content creator i was freshly 18 and had just graduated high school a few weeks prior i was drunk in a hotel room with other people around me when it happened he was someone I had once watched, and he was eight years older than me, and far more powerful. I received Instagram DMs from him, and in my Instagram bio, in bold, was my age, 18, confirming he knew how old I was. A few days passed when I found myself in the sim same situation. Us three were at a party when it got boring, and whether the girl wanted to leave and go to his room, or he asked us who I cannot remember, once again, I was drunker than the night before and was willing to go anywhere. I was naive, and so we went back. That night, I went up to his room. Back at the hotel room again were the two friends and us three girls. At the time, all of us girls were already really drunk from the party we were coming from, stumbling and everything. There was more alcohol in the room, and we were encouraged to drink some more as they offered the bottles to us. They said they would join us and drinking, and insisted on drinking games, and already drunk, I obviously complied. Now one thing she said that when, you know, when they were already drunk, then they got to the hotel and they were encouraged to drink more. My friends, you can always say no. Doesn't mean, okay, maybe in a, in a way they were like around big creators that they wanted to seem cool. Because for some reason, I swear, anyone who has numbers, like someone is big on social media, people see them as like they're not normal they're not like us they're so cool and i wish i was like them and i look up to them my friend doesn't matter 10 million 20 million doesn't matter if a person is a person take away their numbers what are they nothing human human but i guess she wanted to seem cool or oh, every 18 year old is like this 18 19 year old oh i'm okay i'm not even drunk bring more alcohol we sat on the couch and answered questions about each other drinking a bunch, and the older guy sat right next to me while playing. I confused my nerves for excitement, 
as I had never been around such a big creator before. I remember getting drunker and drunker and really tired around this time. It was about 3 a.m. Right before the incident, I had answered a question about my age. We were playing a drinking game and talking about sex, and I admitted to everyone in the room that I was 18 and that I was a virgin at the time. It was a little after that when I had resorted to playing games on my phone when it happened. Out of nowhere, I felt him slip his hand under my clothes, sitting next to me on the couch in front of everyone. He disguised it with a simple, are you ticklish? This is how you know this Minecraft uh, YouTubers, they get no bitches. Zero game, nothing. Perfect way to describe these Minecraft YouTubers is the type of guy who, you know, at the end goes to the girl and be like, where's my hug? And her situation saying she was uncomfortable sitting on the couch and this guy was touching her the places she doesn't want to. And I think makes sense if she didn't want to, you know, say anything that will offend them or things like that because the guy is a big creator and everyone looks up to him and she just cannot believe it it's like you sitting with your favorite celebrity and if your favorite celebrity does some weird things on you i was overly aware of the fact that we were in front of other people the fact that everyone else was sitting around us watching us including my best friend and that his hand was inching further to places i hadn't asked for it to be he made a game out of my embarrassment where he would touch me in certain areas to make me lose the phone game I was playing. I was scared and I felt sick, either from the alcohol or from his touch. It didn't matter because my mind was a blur. I remember being afraid to even breathe. I stayed there for a while, hoping my stillness could make me disappear. I eventually had to stand up after many minutes for it to stop. <laughs> I was scared to leave or make a scene out of the embarrassment. But obviously she's very young and she still, you know, tries. She's one of those people who still tries to impress people and cares about what people think of her. My friend, one day you will get to an age where you don't give two shits about what people think about you and you, you, you live your life with the best. Now, this was her point of view and she never mentioned any names. She just decided to come out and speak about a certain creator where people connected the dots later on and found out that it was George not found the minecraft youtuber who was accused of these things and honestly if this was the first minecraft youtuber who was accused of these things i would have been shocked but people do it left and right where it was shown that they had this 21 plus wristband on one of their ha one of their one of their wrists so from my perspective it's a bunch of 21 plus year olds hanging out I have no reason to think otherwise. Well, when you went and sent that DM, she claims that she had 18 on her page. So maybe you were not thinking straight. You were thinking with your head instead of your other head. Other than her Instagram bio, but I just didn't see it. Of course you didn't. All you saw was an opportunity to score, my friend, yeah? But anyway, nothing actually particularly happened at this first night that we were hanging out. Everything was very friendly. So something I actually want to point out before I continue with the rest of the story is the way that she phrases some things in her story. Instead of saying that her and the rest of her friends actually wanted to come to the hotel to hang out with us, she said that one friend was invited by Dream, but she didn't want to go alone. So then they decided to go along with her because they were willing to go anywhere. I just think it's important to note already that the story is slightly different from the reality of it. And I'll be mentioning this a few more times throughout the rest of the story. You can see in these screenshots from the text at the time that they were all trying to come to the hotel and it wasn't just a, oh, we're willing to follow her essentially. But my friend George, she said that she was already drunk with her friends and she was willing to go anywhere. What, what is these screenshots you're uh, pulling up? So far, the way it looks like is George wanted to get some, but Caitlyn, she was really feeling uncomfortable and didn't want to make a scene. And George thought, oh, she's letting me touch her waist. Maybe she will let me touch more things. So at this point, we then move to the couch. There was a couch in the room and I sit next to Katie. She also says, looking back on the scenario that she confused her nerves for excitement when I sit next to her. But again, at this moment in time, everything was friendly. Nothing sexual had happened. I'm just literally sitting next to her on the couch. And during this, she was laughing, smiling. She gave no indication that she was uncomfortable with me sitting this close to her. She also mentions that she was thinking about my age and that I was a lot older than her. Again, she was 18 and I was 26 at the time. And again, to clarify, I actually didn't know how old she was, despite her claiming that I did just because it was in her bio. 
and it was clear to anyone there that she was not uncomfortable with me sitting next to her, cuddling together. We had been cuddling for, I'd say, around an hour at this point, playing the game, talking, and just having fun. And for clarity, I had my hand around her waist above her clothes. So with her statement where she's saying that she's resorting to playing games on her phone, I just don't really understand it. And I think that the picture that she's painting is really dark, when in reality she seemed very happy with the situation, was having a good time. Another quote from her stream I want to address, she says, There was more alcohol in the room and we were encouraged to drink some more as they offered the bottles to us. They said they would join us in drinking and insisted on drinking games. They had already been drinking before they arrived. They were drunk. And the way this is phrased, it makes us out to look like we're kind of preying on them and like forcing them to drink when they didn't want to. Now, this whole thing comes out to be a big misunderstanding between the two of them because why this whole thing comes around body language and signs. Just because they were cuddling around the couch, George thought, oh, she's okay with me. She's cool with me. You know, I'm about to get some tonight. And for her, she was just uncomfortable and she was scared to say anything because George was a big creator. Or it can be the fact that Caitlin had too much to drink. And it was one of those nights where the next day you wake up, you feel disgusted by yourself because of your action. You regret everything. Maybe Caitlin was giving him signs or this George guy, he does not know how to take signals. She said that she gave him signals that she's not interested. But George was like, never give up. Never what? Never give up, never... Ugh. Not only that part, but at the end, Caitlyn, she says that she was going to the elevator and she was pressing on the elevator, you know, part to come up. But then he was like, the elevator is broken. You know, you have to stay with me. This is what he meant, but he didn't say that. He was like, oh yeah, the elevator is broken. And every time it comes, he closes it or whatever. This is what Caitlyn said. And she said, she's very uncomfortable about the situation. And after she the elevator opened and she was leaving, he was like... Well, I guess this is goodbye now. I guess I'm leaving now. We walked to the elevators where I didn't get on. He then pretended that the elevator was broken and that he couldn't leave, telling me to get in the elevator to prove it was broken. And then after a few minutes, he ended the night with a guess I'm going now, leaving with a wounded puppy look. Sounds like George wanted to get some, but he did not get some because the whole thing, George doesn't understand body language. George goes on and says this as well. Clear that the furthest anything ever got was under the shirt touching and cuddling. Now, obviously, people don't typically ask if everything is okay, even such as touching someone's waist under their shirt before they do it. But in this case, I was extremely slow and she was engaging with me the entire time, laughing cuddling with me and even playfully fighting me my friend this is what a uh, body language is this is what this is i'll give you a perfect example you're sitting he's saying you don't ask for consent when you want to grab a waist of uh, someone or say are you okay with me grabbing your waist and these things if you are uncomfortable you get up and you're like what are you doing bro now from what it looks like apparently not not a lot of people can speak up about the situation I, i'm just gonna go with it while they're very extremely uncomfortable but this is the perfect situation where i can you know put it in is like you, when the body language when the eye contact goes there's an energy chemistry between these two people you don't ask for consent you just do things but if there is signs, body language, eye contact, eye talking with each other. It's like one of those situations like you, you're looking at a girl, you're like eye to eye or you're looking at a guy. This is usually guys. You go, you go like, I really want to kiss you right now. I, I, I want to kiss you. Do you ask or no? If there's a moment that you guys are, you know, looking at each other and you just go like, you know what I mean? Sometimes you asking, can I kiss you, can ruin the whole mood. You had the chemistry together. You had these things. And it kind of makes sense. Now, this situation was different. Maybe George was getting mixed signals. Or maybe Kathan gave him the signals. And George was like, I don't care. I'm still getting some tonight. Because you know who I am? 10 million subs. I am a George not found of Minecraft. You know how many houses I built in Minecraft? You should respect me. And I should definitely get some something tonight maybe he was like that but we don't really know the whole 
the whole situation of what happened. Dream came out true and uh, came out and said that there are good people, there are bad people. He made a whole big ass statement. He says, "I feel very terrible for Caitlyn and these things. Are, like obviously, people do this, creators do this, but not all creators are bad." Goes on and talks to himself for a couple of more things, and then something he found from Chat GPT. He goes like, "Most creators aren't like this. There's a lot of good in the world. There's a, a lot of kindness and honesty and love. There are many creators that are fair, kind, and truthful." and no one should give up hope to be in general or whatever blah 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 so this whole situation the way it looks like is Kathan didn't say anything from mr george not found a movement his minecraft movement he was pulling on her and george maybe he got mixed signals or maybe he was pushing himself he's like maybe if i touch her waist she's going to get turned on and i'm going to get some do you know who i am minecraft youtuber but little did George know this was gonna come bite him in the ass because he wanted to get some that night. Now, I don't know who all these people are, but that was the YouTube drama that was, that is happening. Still, people are 50-50 with the situation. Most people, they see a girl crying. They don't want to hear the other side of the story. You are right, my pookie. Well, obviously, there are true victims of this where influencers, they use their followers to get advantage of the situation at advantage of a girl so this was definitely a lesson for both of them george you should definitely if he wants to approach someone make sure they're comfortable with it they like you actually and then they're interest in you before you make any minecraft moves on them and for her it was also definitely a lesson to never over drink and be present in the situation and next time speak up if someone is taking advantage of the situation so i just wanted to share this this wasn't an interesting drama i just had nothing else to talk about today but anyways, if you lock, like the video, like it, subscribe it. And if you want me to talk about anything else, let me know in the comments below or tag me on Twitter or TikTok or X or whatever. Yep, take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.